Hello and welcome to In Awe of Elohim. On today, I greet you in the powerful name of our Lord Jesus Christ and in the power of the Holy Ghost and in the power of the name of our Father, Yahweh. Today, my precious children, Joseph, Faith, and all the children in my ministry, in awe of Elohim and for the blood of Christ, I want to let you know that God is bigger, that God is faithful, that God promises, or oh yes and amen, what the Lord has spoken. He is able to perform. The Lord has been revealing uh, through the power of the Holy Ghost uh, the thing that I will talk to you about today. It comes to comes to you from the topic of uh, uh, darkness, utter darkness. Today, I'm here, my precious children, to let you know that God is Yahweh. God is greater than the darkness. The light is greater than the darkness. And so the Lord gave me three scriptures to share with you today. And it's from the book Genesis from verse 1 Genesis chapter 1 verses 1 through to uh, 3 in fact verses 1 through to 4 said the Holy Ghost and then Daniel chapter 10 all of it verses 1 through 21 and then Psalm chapter 14 and verse 1 but before I bring to you what thus saith the living God I'm going to go before the throne of God and so let me anoint my hands and then I'm going to go before God. My Father, holy art thou. Thank you for today. Thank you for life and health and thank you for your promises which must come to pass, which shall come to pass for my children and for all the children in the ministry that you've given unto me. Today, Lord God, I hear your voice say, My word shall not return unto me void. My word shall be, shall accomplish what I please, and my word shall prosper in the thing whereunto I have sent it. And you've shown me, Lord, that as it was in the beginning, so shall it be now, and so shall it be in the end. And as you talk, talk to me, my Father, through the Holy Ghost, you remind me that uh, your rhema word, your word is brought to pass, uh, your word for a specific person, for a specific reason, for a specific season, for a specific circumstance uh, is brought to pass uh, by the Spirit, Hegeon. And so I just thank you, Lord. I thank you for the gift of the Holy Ghost. I thank you, Lord, for the spirit, Higion, the spirit of contemplative, meditated, uh, investigative judgment, the spirit of God that judges all mankind, whatsoever mankind does, whether it's in the light or in the darkness. Lord God, your eyes watch over all things in the earth and everything that a person does is judged by you Lord by the Spirit Hagion and so I just thank you Lord I thank you for the revelation for the understanding that you've imparted unto me through the Holy Ghost and so now my father I just want to say hallelujah in Mela in Mela oh yekaka Oh, Yekirua, in Mela, in Mela Ezimo, a great and mighty Yahweh, great and mighty Creator God. I just want to thank you. I thank you, Lord God, for what you have, uh, my God, allowed to come to pass. What is coming to pass and what shall come to pass, Lord God, even now. 
Even so right now, Lord, I pray that you will hasten your coming. This vile, wicked world has gotten worse and worse and worse. And every day, the heart of mankind has gotten cold and dark like the outer edge. And now, my Father, I know that you hear me when I call. And so it doesn't matter if some people aren't yet married. What I have told my children is, listen, when the bride, when the groom comes, we who are the bride, we don't have no need for a husband because our maker is our husband. We won't have a need for companionship because our creator is our husband. And so, even so, now, Lord Jesus, hasten your coming, hasten your appearance, because the world has gotten so dark, so evil, so vicious. Lord God Almighty, so many harm being done to precious children. Lord God Almighty, if you will so choose to tarry yet but a little while, let it be that you will shake up the earth, shake up the heavens, shake up the nations, shake up the people, that they will protect little vulnerable children. Lord God Almighty, let it be according to what thus saith your woman servant. Let it be that this great United States will pass the Child Rights Commission, will, will assent to it, will sign off on it from the United Nations. Lord God Almighty, children are to be protected. Children are to be cared for. So my father, as the utter darkness in the in the minds and in the in the courthouse of vile as seeds of the devil continue to overlook the welfare and the well-being of precious minor children all across these 50 United States and territories. My God Almighty, hear from heaven, Lord Yeshua, and answer your woman servant. And let it be, Lord God, that little children, they will be held to the highest standard. Lord God Almighty, even uh, members of the of the uh, judicial system have Lord God they've bemoaned and they've labeled with uh, disbelief and sadness Lord how can a world power superpower not consider the, the the welfare of children the greatest nation the greatest industry child pornography child exploitation child slavery child sex trafficking the blood of yeshua rokosheta suto robo koshute ya ya yeshua hamashia kolodoso koto mashe rebo stu tu hikarakata ratatatatata yeshua hamashia kolodoso koto mashe kete ya ya shua hamashia yad he va he 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 ratatatatatata Yeshua Hamashia ya ya Adonai tiziva othel Mikel Javayel Havayel Nayel Raphael Gabriel Ketithoel tiziva othel Yeshua Hamashia Adonai tiziva othel Hegion Selah Yahshua, we thank you, we glorify you, we give you the praise and the honor. Right now, Lord God, shake the nation, shake the people, shake those in authority. Let them do the right thing for precious children, Lord God. Let the hearts of children be turned towards their creator. Lord God, they were a thought in your mind, and then you saw it fit to bring them into this realm, and Lord, God, those of us who are supposedly grown folks, we must put measures in place to protect little children, boys and girls, Lord God Almighty, and teach them good morals and point them to their creator. Instead, we have built the biggest industry in the world, child pornography, all oh, wretched seeds, rakataka robo shokoto, ya ya yashua hamashia, kolodo soto yashua 
Abraham Mashia Corrodo Sekete Ya Ya Utter Darkness Utter Vile Wretched Seeds of the Devil Re Kobo Sharakata Yeshua Hamashia And now my father remember my son Joseph remember my daughter Faith remember your rhema word make it come to pass Lord you said you will give men for thee and people for my life give men for Joseph give women for Joseph give men for faith give women for faith so the whole world will know that thou whose name alone is Jehovah are the most high God in all the earth. Vile wretched seeds of the devil that dwell in darkness, witches and wizards and necromancers, warlock and lodgeman, and Lord God Almighty, of your man, of your woman, Lord God Almighty, Rekabo Shakata Yahshua Hamashia, Korodo Sokoto Ye Yahshua Hamashia, Higiona Rotobleba. Kashata, Yeshua, all the altars, Higion, Korodos, Sokoto, Yaya, Yeshua, Hamashia, Yaya, get your glory, get you your honor upon Pharaoh, get you your honor upon the Egyptians, so that all men will know that you are God. There is none like you, and you, Lord God, shall not at all acquit the wicked. You judge, you watch over the earth, your seven eyes run to and fro, observing all good, observing all evil, observing the darkness, observing the wicked, observing the righteous. Lord, get your glory. Rekashata Yeshua, the sword of the Lord and of Gideon. Let it be according to what thus saith the Lord, according to what thus declare the word of God. Let your rhema word come to pass and be glorified in the earth. In Jesus Christ's name. Hallelujah and Amen. Amen. My precious children, oh praise God. Today I want to uh, talk to you about the darkness, the utter edge, the darkness. Oh praise God. Uh, darkness signifies evil. Oh praise God. Darkness signifies evil. Outer edge. The outer edge is the is the edge of the of the uh, of the Earth's atmosphere, it's beyond the uh, uh, exof exosphere. It is cold. It is dark. It it depicts the the place where the demons dwell. It depicts the place where all the fallen angels, the demons dwell in that utter darkness. The Holy Ghost revealed to me. On yesterday, the Holy Ghost said, "My precious daughter." Uh, when the Spirit of God, when God, when God cast out, uh, cast out the devil and his demons out of heaven, they they fell, they fell outside of of heaven as we know it, outside of the kingdom of God, and they were cast out into utter darkness, the outer edge. And the Lord said to me, the Holy Ghost said to me, my daughter, when they were cast out. They occupied the entire realm, the entire realm. But then God, God came out to look to see what is now the situation. Oh, praise God. Thank God for his rhema word. And so the Holy Ghost said in Genesis chapter 1, verses 1 through 4, this is where we now see uh, God going forward and saying, and the earth was without, let me read from the beginning. In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. And the earth was without form and void. And darkness was upon the face of the deep. And the Spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters. And God said, let there be light and there was light you know the spirit of god said to me verse 4 and god saw the light that it was good and god divided the light from the darkness the spirit of 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 um of of instruction the holy ghost said to me 
all of the atmosphere from Earth's uh, ac atmosphere, from the, from the stratosphere, all the way up to the exosphere is, uh, is different layers of the Earth atmosphere. And there's light there. But beyond the exosphere is what's called the outer edge. It's total darkness. It's, it's cold. It's dark. And the Holy Ghost said that's where the demons dwell. If you recall in Daniel chapter, chapter 10, Daniel had a dream. And in the dream, he saw uh, uh, an angel was talking to him. Daniel was praying to God for God to do a thing. And Daniel couldn't get an answer because the, the demon, the prince of Persia, the, the prince of the air, Jesus referred to Satan as the prince of the air. So what the Holy Ghost revealed to me is that, oh, praise God. When God is sending the warrior angels down, the angels from the battalion of Higion, when the Lord is sending those angels down to earth to help his children, his righteous seed of Abraham, uh, uh, sometimes the angels encounter the, the, the vilest of demons in the other edge between the other edge is is that section between light and darkness ha uh -huh. and so as the warrior angels are coming down from the kingdom of God from heaven down into earth to help God's people uh, they have to now contend with the demons in the other edge in that cold dark abyss they have to contend with with the prince of the air, with their father. Sometimes there, 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 are so, there are some demons that are so strong and so powerful. But one thing the Holy Ghost reminded me is that if, the, if a warrior angel encounters a demon that is too strong for him, He's never going to relent. He'll fight and fight and fight and he'll let out an SOS. And guess what? Michael, ha ha ha, Archangel Michael, Archangel Michael shows up. I want to show you this. I know I keep showing you this depiction, but it's important that you understand this because this is what God showed me. And I know it's true. I know it's true because everything God has shown me or told me, it is yes and amen. So, this is a depiction of the 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 captains of of the of the captain of the Lord of hosts and the the commanding the commanding generals the generals the generals of each host and so you see eight archangels here this is Michael this is Yeshua Jesus Christ and so now each of these archangels, they have a throng, they have a battalion of angels behind them. Oh my God. And so, my precious children, the Holy Ghost revealed to me that when Daniel was praying in Daniel chapter uh, 10, let's go to it real quick and I'll read the verses for you. So Daniel comes after Ezekiel. Daniel chapter 10, and I'll tell you what was going on here. So, <clears throat> so Daniel was um, in mourning for three full weeks. That's 21 days. He said he ate no pleasant bread, neither came flesh nor wine in his mouth, neither did he appoint himself um, at all. Uh, he didn't anoint himself at all. He didn't shower, he didn't bathe till three whole weeks were fulfilled. Now, it says here, in the four and twentieth day of the first month, as I was by the side of the great river. So this is after he had finished fasting. This was after he had uh, gone through that pilgrimage, 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 <laughs> or pilgrimage. <laughs> this was after he has gone through that pilgrimage. He was now... Three days later, by the river Hidikel, he lifted up his eyes and looked, 
and behold a certain man clothed in linen one of the archangels his loins were girded with fine gold of euphas his body also was like the beryl and his face as the appearance of lightning and his eyes as lamps of fire and his arms and his feet like in color to polish brass and the voice of his words like the voice of a multitude. And I, Daniel, verse seven, alone saw the vision for the men that were with me saw not the vision, but a great quaking fell upon them so that they fled to hide themselves. Therefore I was left alone and saw this great vision and there remaineth no strength in me for my comeliness was turned in me into corruption and I retained no strength. Yet heard I the voice of his words and when I heard the voice of his words, then was I in a deep sleep on my face and my face towards the ground. So um, keep reading, keep reading. So now hear what this archangel said to Daniel. The Holy Ghost revealed to me that this was one of the chief archangels. Oh my God. The archangel said, fear not, Daniel. For from the first day that thou didst set to thine heart to understand and to chasten thyself before thy God, thy words were heard, and I am come for thy words. Oh, praise God. Hallelujah. But the prince of the kingdom of Persia withstood me one and twenty days. Isn't that something? So Daniel was fasting for 21 days. And this archangel is telling Daniel that from the very first day that he prayed, God heard his, his petition and God sent this archangel to come and help Daniel. But the, the archangel said, the prince of the kingdom of Persia withstood me one and 20 days. Ain't that something? But lo, so the, the, the archangel now was fighting the prince of the kingdom of Persia. Because here what happened? You have a kingdom. You have a king. And guess what? That king is going to have offspring. It's like a snake. A snake especially will have multiple children. The devil is a snake. He has many children, but I thank God that there's more with us than is, it is with them. And I thank God that by the blood of Jesus and by the name of Jesus, by the spirit of Higion, the, the archangel said to Daniel, Michael, one of the chief princes, oh, praise God, one of the chief, chief princes, uh, came to help me and I remained there with the kings of Persia. Now let me tell you something. Oh, praise God. So this archangel now is fighting the prince of the kingdom of Persia. Oh my God. So this is like a young, spry, vibrant uh, prince, you know, of the dark world. And, and the archangel is fighting this wretch and my precious children. The archangel realized that he's being withheld in this battle. He's, he's not losing, but he's being uh, put up. The, the, the demonic prince is putting up a good fight. So what did the archangel do? He sent out an SOS. <laughs> he sent out an SOS to his father, to Yahweh. And Yahweh sends Michael. You can see God now. God says to Michael, Michael, Tizivothel is busy fighting Prince Pharaoh of the Persian army. So I need you to go and defeat that Prince Pharaoh so that Tizivothel can go to Daniel. So what did, what did, what happened? Michael, the archangel, the leader of the archangel, the leader of the host, the captain of the host. Michael shows up. Michael shows up and Michael took care of that prince of the kingdom of Persia. So now, so now, 
the the um the the archangel Tiziva herself said he came to help me Michael came to help me and I remain there with the kings of Persia so the archangel now was strengthened to defeat the the prince of the kingdom of Persia and all the kings of Persia I thank God for who he is and so after he had finished fighting and defeating the prince of the kingdom of Persia and the kings of Persia the archangel Tiziva itself came to Daniel and said to Daniel now I am come to make thee understand what shall befall thy people in the latter days for yet the vision is for many days oh praise god let me tell you something my children there is a lot of wicked cold-hearted dark-hearted devious seeds of the devil in this world around the globe not just in america they're in jamaica they're in venezuela they're in Florida, they're in Connecticut, they're in New Hampshire, they're in Kentucky, they're in New York, they're in Illinois, they're in every single state you can imagine, every single state. But I say this, let the witches and the wizards gather, because they shall scatter. Because when Daniel prayed, immediately God sent an archangel to help him. But the demon princes of Persia, they were strong. And so the archangel was battling with the princes of the, 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 the kings of Persia. He was there by himself battling all these demons in the other edge, in the darkness. Because see what happened is, demonic people, they operate by darkness. They operate covertly. They operate under under the the guise of secrecy and they operate where they believe no one sees them but i thank the word of god the the logos word of god says in in uh in in zachariah and in um uh, haggai that the eyes of the lord looks upon good and evil and uh king david said in Psalm 68, that the Lord hears, his ear is open to the priors of the righteous and his eyes, his eyes see all things. But God turns his face against the seed of the devil, against the wicked, against the dark, cold-hearted seeds of the devil. Oh, praise God. Adonai Tizivothel, in Genesis chapter 1, he said, let there be light. And when God speaks a word, my heart have learned that it shall come to pass. You know, recently, um, the Lord told me in 2022, the Lord told me to tell a dear friend that uh, this, this sickness, he will give her some time with this sickness. He will give her some time. In fact, the Lord said specifically, tell her she shall live to see her a second grandchild, a son specifically. And uh, about a year and a half ago, um, my friend texted me and she said, um, I don't know if this is true, but um, I heard that your daughter is pregnant. <clears throat> and I said, no my daughters aren't pregnant so the holy ghost revealed to me of course understanding some things are very easily to be understood about two months ago or actually um yeah about two months ago because it's now mid late october it's about a month and a half ago i got a call and in that conversation I learned that my friend's daughter has had a second baby boy. I share this with you, my precious children, to 
remind you that whatsoever God says, whether it's in the Logos words or it's in uh, uh, the Rhema word or whether it's in a vision like we saw in Daniel chapter 10 where Daniel had a vision and the, the archangel spoke with him. Uh, I know it was Tizivothel, it was Adonai Tizivothel, because see, God has a, a, a host, God, God has an army, if you will, and each of those uh, 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 battalion, they serve a specific purpose. They serve a specific purpose. You, you remember, uh, when when Mary was going to learn that she was going to be the the mother of our Savior, um, it was Archangel Gabriel who came. Uh, we see where um, the 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 angels who came to Abraham and and talked with him and told him what was going to happen to Sodom and Gomorrah. We see angels with different purposes, and I know God is going to reveal to me what the other five archangels, what their purposes are, because he's already revealed to me what the archangels under the battalion, Higion, what their purpose is. Those are the warrior, those are the flaming eyes and the flaming feet like bronze and the polished feet and the, and the smoke coming out of their nostrils and, and, and the hair like wool and the countenance like lightning. So I know that my father will reveal to me what the other five archangel battalions, what their purposes are. But I said all of that just to say to you, my children, when God speaks, it is yes and amen. Whatsoever God decrees and declares, the rhema word to a person, to a specific situation, you can you can go to the bank on it and get a loan for a million dollars because it will come to pass. It may tarry, but it's going to come to pass. See, before they stole my children, God showed me they were going to steal my children. But I, I didn't understand it. And as, and, and as I spoke today to a friend, I, I, and, and he was asking me about these different gifts that God has given unto me. And I shared with him, I said, listen, we all have spiritual gifts, but sometimes we don't realize that we do until we are put into a situation. And it's out of that situation that we now realize our spiritual gifts from God and we're able to use them for the glory of God. And so... You know, I, I talk with him and I told him, I said, one thing I'm learning is to let God be the interpreter, the giver of understanding and the giver of prophecy and the giver of revelation for the ministries that he has given to me. And so today, my precious children, I'm here to remind you that those who are not of God, they are called Fools, and you can find that in Psalms 14. Psalms chapter 14 and verse 1. Let's turn to it real quick because I want to read to you what I know the fools have been saying. King David said, The fool had said in his heart, There is no God. My son Joseph, I know the fool has told you that your belief in God is foolishness. But Joseph, I want to tell you this. Your mother has been given a vision like Daniel. And in that vision, the Lord has shown me his rhema word according to Jeremiah chapter 31 verses 15, 16, 17 that you and your baby sister, my precious daughter, both of you shall return unto me and those who told you that your belief in God is foolishness the Lord shall make them as whore's head, they shall be as dung for the earth they shall be as vegetables when it is rotten and and good for nothing but to be cast out into the street. And so today, the word of God says, the fool had said in his heart, there is no God. 
They are corrupt. They have done abominable works. There is none that doeth good. All of them, uh, from the Pharaoh to the entire RRD throng, the Lord God has said to me that they will be as dung for the earth, that they will be like Oreb and Zeb, that they shall be like vegetables, that they shall be as a fire burneth a wood, that they shall be as a flame set the mountains on fire. So, my precious son Joseph, so, my precious daughter Faith, you continue to hold on because the Lord God says in Haggai uh, chapter 2, the Lord God said, it is for yet a little while, yet a little while, and you shall see the, the judgment of God, the investigative, meditative, contemplative, just uh, judgment of the Lord of Adonai, Tizimothel, Higion, the Lord of hosts, the Lord of judgment, the Lord most high. So, my precious children, I want to encourage you. I have, I had a picture of, of, of the different um, atmosphere layers of the earth's atmosphere, but I I don't know where I put it. I had a drawing and the Holy Ghost had spoken to me about it. And I, I found that photo on the last solar eclipse we had earlier on this year. And the Lord had me to uh, replicate that picture and, and to talk to me about it. But I need to find it and one day I will find it. But the sum of the whole matter is this. I know they've done evil in their dark hearts, in their cold heart. But let me tell you something. When God shows up, when the Lord uh, Michael, Archangel Michael shows up to strengthen the, the, the warrior angel because the prince of Persia withstood the help that God has sent to you, my son, to you, my daughter, the Lord God uh, will be victorious. We win. Uh, we are fighting from a place of victory. We win. It's just yet a little while. And that's what the Lord God says. Yet a little while. And on the third day after Daniel's 21 day fast, it says here in Daniel chapter 10 that the angel showed up to Daniel. So my precious children. I know that what God has said he will do and I thank the Lord that he is light he lights up the darkness oh praise God all the evil that has been done against you my precious children in obscurity the Lord is going to light it up. Adonai Tiziva Othel is going to light them up. The Lord God is going to blaze them up. Because that's what he said. My mother had a saying, and I'm going to close here. My precious mother has a, had a saying growing up. She said, what done in the dark must come to light. Meaning, anything done in the darkness shall come into the light. Oh, praise God. I'm going to sing this little chorus in closing. It says, Come, Jesus, come. We've been waiting so long for the day you return to heal every hurt and right every wrong. I need This earth's not our home, so come Jesus, come, come Jesus, come, we've been waiting so long for the day you return to heal every hurt and right every wrong. We need you right now. Come and turn this around. There's one 
thing I know. This world's not our home. So come, Jesus, come. Oh, praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. My precious children, I want to pronounce the blessing upon you. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you his peace. Amen. Amen. I love you and God loves you more.